In this Python nice GUI tutorial, we will make a web application with a file upload object. Only text files can be uploaded to the application with the file upload object. When you click on the button, the content of the text file is displayed on the screen. I will show you step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I transfer the events library. I will use the events library to read text files. I will add the upload object. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any browser. I added the upload object to the web page. I select a file. When I press the upload button, my goal is to ensure that the content of the file is displayed on the web page. I will create a markdown object. I am creating a variable. My goal is to display the content of the text file selected in the upload object in the markdown object. I am saving the code file. I added the markdown object to the web page. I want a function to be called when I select a file with the upload object. I can do this using the onUpload feature. I am defining a function. I want to access the text of the selected text file using the events feature. I create a variable and synchronize it with the read function. I synchronize the text of the markdown object with the variable I created. I am saving the code file. The application works without errors. Now I will create a text file. I add a few sentences to the text file. I am saving the text file. I select a file. When I press the upload button, the content of the selected text file is displayed in the markdown object. We can impose restrictions on the file upload object. For example, only files with text extension should be allowed to be selected. First, let's define the reaction when files with text extension are not selected. We can do this by using the onRejected feature. If the text file is not selected, I will publish a warning message on the web page using the Notify feature. I set the accept value as text file only. I set the object size using the classes function. I am saving the code file. For example, let's select a file with the py extension. The notify object reacts as I want. When I select a text file, the content is shown in the markdown object. In this video, we learned how to use the upload element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.